did you know that you could sell a covered call option contract and then later if you wanted to you could buy it back and still make a profit it's 100 percent true and i'm going to demonstrate step by step exactly how i did it so that anyone else can do the same exact thing just as a quick refresher i'm going to spend a minute or two talking about the mechanics behind selling a covered call this might also help some of my newer viewers who are unfamiliar with this process and we start off with me on the left and the stock market with buyers on the right. And I'm going to create a covered call option contract for this fictional company called ABC Incorporated with a one month expiration and a $100 strike price. And the reason I'm able to write this covered call is because I actually own 100 shares of ABC Incorporated, the company stock. So this allows me to use that as collateral. Now, once I've done this, I offer it for sale on the stock market and then an interested buyer will let me know that they want to buy my option contract and so they're going to be willing to pay the premium for that option contract. So I receive the premium and the buyer receives the rights to exercise this option contract if the conditions are met. So for this first example, I'm selling a covered call for stock symbol GNUS. It has an expiration date of May 14th of 2021 and a $2 strike price. Now when I acquired these shares, my average cost basis was $1.77 per share. Now with these numbers in mind, let's take a look at the numbers I looked at when I was considering selling a covered call for stock symbol GNUS. So the day I started was April 28th of 2021 and I was going to be selling a covered call for stock symbol GNUS. Now the market price at the time was $1.81 per share and I currently held 100 shares so that was enough for one contract. Now, the value of those shares was $181, and I was looking at selling a covered call with the expiration date of May 14th of 2021. So that would give the length of this option contract 16 days. Now, I was looking at using a strike price of $2, which at the time was paying a premium of $0.12 cents per share. Now, considering that my cost basis was $1.77 per share, that meant if this option contract were exercised and I received the $2 per share, I would gain a profit from price appreciation of 23 cents per share. And that's computed by taking the $2 strike price, which is the amount that I would receive, and subtracting my cost basis, which is $1.77 per share. So that difference, that 23 cents, that's the cost price appreciation. Now, the premium amount I would receive for selling this option contract would be $12. And if this option contract were exercised, I would take a total profit of $35, which represents a 19.77% profit. So let's open up my account history and take a look at the actual transaction where I accomplished this selling of the cover call. So from this transaction record, we can see that I'm selling a call for stock symbol GNUS with a $2 strike price and an expiration date of May 14th of 2021. This is where I'm selling the covered call on April 28th. You can see my submission date here. And I'm opening this contract and it was actually filled later that morning at 9.57 a.m. Pacific time. Now for selling this option contract, I received 12 cents per share in premium. And when the order got filled, I received $12 immediate credit into my trading account. So let's run through the numbers and take an accounting of where I'm at. So I started out the day on April 28th, 2021 with a starting balance of $0 in my account I owned 100 shares of symbol GNUS. None of those shares were reserved as collateral, which meant I have 100 shares available for me to use for whatever I wanted to do. I could sell them, hold them, um, use them as part of a covered call. And my cost basis for those shares is $1.77. So later that morning, I created a cover call option contract to sell the 100 shares that I held. So that morning, April 28th, 2021, I sold a covered call option contract for stock symbol GNUS. The expiration date was May 14th of 2021, which made the length of this contract 16 days. Now, I had used the $2 strike price, and at the time, $0.12 cents per share was being paid as the premium. So I received the premium of $12, which was credited immediately to my trading account as soon as the option contract was filled. Now, the 100 shares, I still own the shares, but as you can see, they were now reserved as collateral, which meant I no longer had them available. So I have zero shares available, but I still own the shares. So at this point, I've successfully sold my covered call option contract using my shares of GNUS as my collateral. And I did receive the 12 cents per share in premium. But now let's take a look at the possible outcomes that might occur 
as we approach expiration date of May 14th. First is outcome number one, which is the best case scenario for me. And this is where the option contract gets exercised. Now, if the option contract were to get exercised, I would gain profit from the stock price appreciation, and that would be the 23 cents per share times the 100 shares, so that's $23. And then also the gain from the premium payment that I received. That was 12 cents per share times the 100 shares, so that's $12. So it's a total profit of $35, and that profit represents 19.77% based upon the cost of my shares. Now, for outcome number two, the option contract could reach expiration date without being exercised, in which case it expires worthless. So in this scenario, my shares are released from being used as collateral, and because I didn't sell them, there's no profit from stock price appreciation, so that value is zero. But I still did re receive a gain from the premium payment, which was 12 cents per share times 100 shares, so that's $12. And so my total profit in this case is $12. And that $12, that represents a profit of 6.78% based upon the cost of the shares that I'm holding. And of course, there's another outcome, and it's where I buy to close the option contract. Next, let's jump over to my account history where we can actually see the transaction where I executed the buy to close. So this is where I'm buying to close the covered call for stock symbol GNUS that has the $2 strike price and the expiration date of May 14th. So the day that I executed this buy to close was on May 10th of 2021. So four days before the expiration date. You can see here where the effect is I'm closing this contract and this buy to close was executed on May 11th at 6.30 in the morning Pacific time. In order to execute this contract, I needed to pay one penny per share. So at the time this transaction was executed, I ended up having to pay $1 to buy out this contract in effect closing it out. If you like the information that I shared in this video, do me a huge favor and smash the like button. So now let's go back and take a look at outcome number three, now that I've executed a buy to close. So because I purchased this contract back, there was nothing to execute. So there was no profit from stock price appreciation. Now the gains that I received from the premium payment, I still get to keep, that's mine to keep forever, so that's $12. So in order for me to actually execute this buy to close, I was required to pay one penny per share uh, in order to close this contract. So I paid one penny per share times the 100 shares so my out-of-pocket expense was $1. Now let's go back and update my accounting based on this latest transaction. So here's my buy to close transaction. So I executed this transaction on May 10th, 2021. So that was four days before expiration. And it's for stock symbol GNUS. And this transaction is buy to close for the covered call option contract that I previously sold. Now in order for me to execute this, I had to pay $1 uh, and worked out to be one penny per share. So that was $1 total. So when I subtract the $1 as an expense from my account balance, my new account balance is $11. And because I bought to close the shares that were reserved, so now they're unreserved and made available for me to use however I want. And so by executing this buy to close transaction, it actually closed out my covered call option contract. So on April 28th, 2021, right before I sold this covered call option contract, my account balance had $0.00 but I did own 100 shares of symbol GNUS. And so using those shares, I was able to sell a covered call that had an expiration date of 514, May 14th of 2021. And for selling that covered call option contract, I received $12 in premium, which is mine to keep forever. And then on May 10th, I noticed that the value of the option contract had dropped significantly. And so I was able to execute a buy to close and buy back my option contract and I only had to pay one penny per share or one dollar total in premium. So taking that into account I paid one dollar and so now my new account balance ended up being eleven dollars and the shares that were reserved as collateral were released back to me and made available for me to do another covered call or I could sell them or do whatever I wanted. So I ended up this covered call option contract with a net profit of eleven dollars. And that $11, that's 6.2% based upon the value of the shares that I owned. And to top it off, I still own the 100 shares of GNUS, which initially enabled me to actually sell the covered call. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon, where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free.
if you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.